G'day everyone, this is Lasha, and I've got some hot tips today. I was playing Interchange the other day, and I found one of the coolest spawns. You're not going to believe what was there. Did you take a guess? No? Oh well. Even if you didn't, I'm going to tell you. It was gold chains. Gold chains everywhere. All over the little uh, storage lockers. Like the personal lockers that you've got in uh, Goshan, Idea and Ollie. And so I'm looting the gold chains. I'm looting the gold chains. I'm finding a bit of cash. I'm finding some silver chains. And I start finding Rolexes. And then I start finding Bitcoins. Oh yes, not only can I get about an average of five gold chains per raid hitting these locations, I will also, once every, I think, three raids, if I hit all the lockers, get at least one Bitcoin. One raid I walked out with three. Three. That was crazy. I can't believe I walked out with three Bitcoins from loot that I can literally walk up to like this and use my balls to check these no key required no special hidden areas just walk up to it as easy as that I didn't find any of that one that's okay we're going to take a quick run around the corner here my stamina is abysmal please pardon me we'll uh, cut this next bit and you know, maybe fast Alright, so we come through here. Always be careful when coming through here. This is a very high traffic area if you're not familiar with the map. You'll have people coming in from their spawn through here. You'll have people leaving through here to go to extract. You'll have AI scarves and player scarves mulling about. And if this video gets any kind of attention whatsoever, you're going to have competition at these lockers. So I just bought a hatchet because this is an offline raid and I didn't happen to have any equipment on me when I loaded in because I died last time. I highly recommend you bring a gun, a pistol, anything I see. Here's a normal chain. Oh, no. That's just a bit of light reflecting off of it. So all these little spots here, this bit, this bit, this little bit down here, they can, they're all spawn locations. Now, this is a... Oh, here we go. Gold chain. Now, that's not the best loot in the game. That sells for about 27,000 rubles. Which, for a single slot item, just sitting there is not bad. Um, I haven't found a Bitcoin yet. Might not this raid. But that's okay. Um, I'll stick up some footage of some of the awesome finds. Man, this is a really lean run so far. But that's alright. So, you come over here. You hit these. If you want to... Uh, quickly jump this here. There's a weapons crate up in this corner that people very, very rarely loot. I don't know why. It's a nice crate. Hit it. See what you get. From here, though, we go around the corner, and there are more spawns for the Bitcoin. Like, lots more. Well, not lots, just two more lockers worth. And of course they're over here in Ollie. We come around the corner. Run down this hallway. Again, this area can be a bit high traffic. You've got tech light upstairs. Ollie is just so saturated with high quality uh, loot for like, you know, upgrading your hideout and trades and stuff that uh, this spot can be dangerous. So be careful, all right? Again, I'm just running around because it's offline mode. Take take a little bit of care. Uh, even if even if you hatch it running, at least stop and take a quick look before you run out. Otherwise, you could be in a little bit of trouble. All right. So I can't believe this is honestly the worst run I've ever done. I think Tarkov's trolling me because I went into offline. Last but not least, we have this one, 
All the way over here. Here we go. And... Is it also empty? Holy cow. I think if... Wow. If I came in on an online raid and saw all these all empty, I'd... Assume someone had made it to me beforehand. This is crazy. Normally, I'll get out with about five gold chains minimum and maybe a Bitcoin. Um, some spare cash. Some cigarettes. Cigarettes spawn of them as well, which can be great for that um, task. With I think it's mechanic. He wants a bad habit. Wants a whole bunch of cigarettes. Wilson strikes. I found a whole bunch of Wilsons on those shelves. All right. Here we have the cabinets and Goshen. Uh, a little bit of extra evidence for the people who might be doubting. There we have the first Bitcoin. And as I look around the corner, it actually surprises me a little bit. But there's a second one sitting right there. And a Rolex. And uh, that's an above average set of um, lockers there. But uh, getting good loot, especially if you hit the ones in Ollie, Idea, and Goshan, you'll be pretty sweet. So I uh, hope you all enjoy the loot runs. Anyhow, I'm Lasha. This has been a quick tips video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, Maybe come check me out on Twitch. Uh, I do a lot of newbie tutorials. Always happy to help. And we'll have a couple more videos with some little loot secrets and other stuff coming soon. See you all next time.